So welcome to the Steam What's My Home market report vlog taking place on Fifth Avenue at the new barber shop in town, John Greco. Woo! Can we have an applause? <laughs> Apple, thank you. So John's gonna tell us a little bit about his shop. So Steamboat Barbershop was founded in 2018, August, and we're located at 5th and Yamba, and we are conveniently located right behind the uh, alleyway of Mahogany Ridge. We have private parking. Website? Steamboatbarbershop.com. We will have online appointments available, and you can book online. 87.6 million in gross volume transactions for August. That's up 16.8% from August 2017, so a huge increase uh, volume this, this month. We did actually see a decline in transactions for August. It was a total of 175 transactions, which was down roughly 3.3% from August last year, and 4.2% from the previous year to date. As far as who's buying, 51% of those transactions were 500 or below, 32% were 500 to a million, and only 17% of those transactions were over a million dollars. We did see a change this month in who was buying and how they were buying. We had 54% uh, were loan purchases in August, 46% were cash buyers, and that does somewhat correlate with the decline in local buyers we actually saw 50, excuse me, 55 percent local buyers this month versus 22 percent from the front range and 23 percent were from out of state. So not many other changes uh, locally. Nationally, Case Shiller was uh, appreciation or home gains was six percent. That's actually down from 6.2 the previous month. You know, the slowing down is widespread around the country. We're seeing 16 of 20 cities saw um, smaller gains. And this is actually reporting on July 2018. The case uh, statistics are just slightly behind uh, where we are for the local statistics. If you look at the graph right here, we have seen four years of steady gains um, nationally. And you can see right at the end here, a small blip. We are seeing the small drop starting to register on the graph. I think you know a lot of that has to do with interest rates. Not only are prices going up, but interest rates are going up as well. They're at 4.75, threatening to go up a little higher. So what that interest rate advance translates into is someone who bought a house for 700,000 a year ago is paying roughly the same mortgage as someone who just purchased a house that was worth 640,000. Yeah, I would say that the scuttlebutt of the barbershop is that everyone that does come through these doors wishes that there was more inventory available. They wish that the prices were lower. They wish that they had bought when they could have. Uh, and should have, and uh, they're kicking themselves in the rear end that they did buy sooner. So I, I do think inventory is starting to go up. Um, one reason is because a lot of people are taking advantage of these high prices and listing their homes. Um, I don't, we are gonna have a few more developments, so we're gonna increase the inventory. Housing starts have gone up, so we're gonna, you know, add to those. Uh, Kim Kreisig and Kreisig Homes has a great new development off of Hilltop Circle, so some more affordable homes there. So yeah, between the combination of the sunlight development, um, there's land for sale up on Fish Creek Falls Road now, there's some land becoming available for development, a new subdivision um, off Spring Creek. So there is especially land opportunities if you're willing to put the time and the effort into building. So if you're priced out of this market, I don't think the prices are going to go down. I do think they're going to flatten off. And building next... prices obviously aren't going to go down anytime <laughs> soon. What we're really seeing now, the summer buying season's over, and we're actually starting to see a number of properties um, have price drops, more properties than would normally be having price drops at this point of the selling season. Just this week alone, 36 properties um, dropped their prices in the MLS. I do think prices are going to level off and plateau a little bit. I don't think we're going to see a big downturn. So if you're thinking about selling, please give us a call because now is a great time to sell. If you're thinking about buying, I would just keep a keen eye on the market and um, make offers on things that, you, that work for you. And I'd love to help you find your dream property as well. Yeah, I mean, you never know. It's it's always worth putting in an offer. You never know where it will get you, but you ne if you never put in an offer, you'll never buy it. Once again, thanks for tuning in to Steamboat's My Home video vlog. Uh, also, thanks to Land Title Guarantee Company for all this great stats. And you can always go to our blog to get more information and links to those stats specifically if you wanted to take a deeper look into the local market. And if you have any questions, please give me a call at 970-846-6435. So, uh, 
Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Take a look at the other video blogs in the corner. So thanks again, and we'll see you next month.